Welcome to August Leco Challenge. Today's problem is verify pre-order serialization of a binary tree. One way to serialize a binary tree is to use pre-order traversal. Pre-order traversal is going to be the root, left, right. When we encounter a non-null node, we record the node's value. If it is a null node, we record it using a sentinel value such as this hash symbol. So for example, the above bi binary tree can be serialized to the string 934 hash hash 1 hash hash 2 hash 6 hash hash, where hash represents a null node. Now given a string of comma separated values pre-order, return true if it is indeed a correct pre-order traversal serialization of a binary tree. So it's guaranteed that each comma separated value is either going to be an integer or the character hash representing the null pointer. and uh, you may assume that the input format is always valid, so we're never going to have like a one empty string three or something like that. So note, you are not allowed to reconstruct the tree, which is unfortunate, but honestly, it's not like even if we could do that, this would be a lot easier. All right, so what are some key insights here? The first thing is to note that whenever we see two null nodes uh, coming after a number, that kind of marks a leaf node, right? Like this four here is going to be a leaf node. It's got no more nodes below it. So that's kind of one key insight. So if that's the case, there should never be a situation where there's three null nodes in a row. Like we can't have four null null. That makes no sense, right? Uh, so that's one key insight. If we see that there's two hashes at any point, we can keep track of the values that we've seen inside some sort of stack. And if we see that we've seen two uh, uh, hash symbols here. That means there's two two null nodes, right? So what we can do is pop off this number here to mark that this has been accounted for uh, as a leaf node. So uh, say that we pop off four from our stack and then we come to one, right? And we see one is also a leaf leaf node. So we pop that off. Uh, now at this point, we'll have nine, three, four, and we, oh, I'm sorry, nine, three and four hash hash and one hash hash are popped off, right? But there's really nowhere to go from there. Like we need to figure out if this node's also been accounted for. And so what we can do then is whenever we find a leaf node here, like four hash hash, we'll pop off these three values four hash hash, but we'll also add back a hash value. And what that does is basically says this has been accounted for and we can mark that with a hash hash one. And it's almost like this is this is a null here. So at this point, there'll be an, a hash and we'll pop off one and then there'll also be another hash. So then we can just have a while loop to say, hey, could we also knock this one off? Uh, because at this point we should have three hash hash and then that will get popped off and we'll continue on this algorithm. At the very end, if this is a valid binary tree, we should only have one symbol left marking a null. So uh, that's the thing. Like if we have two hash symbols, there should be a number that's paired with that. Uh, if we ever have a situation where we have multiple hashes, without a number, that means it's invalid, okay? All right, so let's begin. What we'll do is first create a stack. Oops. And we'll say for n in, keep in mind this is a, a string. So what we'll do is we'll split it by the comma values. And first we'll append it to the stack, right? Oops. So in our while loop, uh, we have to first make sure that there's indeed three values here. So if the stack is uh, greater than length two and the last two values in our stack, if it equals what? Hash times two like this, that means that we've should have found it a leaf node. And we also need to make sure that stack uh, negative three here is not equal to um, a hash symbol. So if this is the case, then let's pop off our stack. Uh, we gotta pop off three times, right? We gotta stop, pop off hash, hash, and then the number itself. But we wanna add back then another hash symbol to mark that this node's been accounted for and it's almost like it's a null. So at the very end, after this, after this loop, we should, if this is valid, see that this is equal to just a single hash here. Okay, so let's make sure this works. 
Uh, okay, it looks like it's working, so submit it. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity is gonna be old n, space complexity should be the same. Uh, and that's really it. There's definitely some other approaches you could take. Um, you could even you know, simulate building this tree, uh, but I think this is probably good enough and it wouldn't be any faster doing it that way anyway. So, okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.